Hi, everyone. I'm Laura, a JavaScript teacher here at Treehouse, and I want to show you the cool projects you'll build taking our job ready tech degree programs. We have many tech degree programs, but in this video, I'm going to focus on the projects you'll build taking our full stack JavaScript tech degree. This is the tech degree I took when I was a student here at Treehouse. I came out of the tech degree with a portfolio of professional quality projects that demonstrated all the skills Treehouse has taught me. Let me show you my personal portfolio that landed me this role. My portfolio website showcases the great projects I've built. The portfolio itself is actually one of the projects you'll build in the middle of the tech degree. Your portfolio will contain a modern landing page, an about page where you will have a chance to share contact info, practice your elevator pitch, and a series of project pages to show off and detail your projects from this tech degree. To create this page, we'll teach you how to use Node.js, Express, and Pug Templates. If any of these technologies don't sound familiar to you, don't worry. We will teach you all you need to know to build these projects. All right, let's take a look at the very first project you'll tackle. It's a fun one. You get to create an app that displays random famous quotes each time a button is clicked. You get to select your own quotes from famous historical figures, artists, scientists, celebrities, anything you like. I'm a Game of Thrones fan, so all my quotes are lines from my favorite character. To complete this project, you'll learn how to use some key JavaScript skills, like variables, arrays, and functions. In project two, you'll dive deeper into the power of JavaScript. You'll take a static web page with a long list of students and improve it by adding JavaScript to make the web page dynamic and responsive. You'll write JavaScript and use a common web development technique known as pagination to enhance the usability of a web page. You'll use the DOM, a document object model, to interact with the HTML so that now at the bottom of the page, you'll have pagination buttons to navigate through the list of students. To take the project further, you can even add a feature to search all the students and find just the ones that match. In the third project, you'll get to tackle forms. Forms are everywhere on the web. Whether you order a product or sign up for a service, you'll use a form. JavaScript can help you make forms smarter and responsive to what your users do. For this project, you'll use your skills to enhance a form so that it's engaging, interactive, and easy to use. You'll use what you learned about regular expressions to validate what users enter in the form's input fields. You'll manipulate the DOM to adjust the actual form based on what the user does. For example, if the user selects an other job role, an input field will show up. Once they select their t-shirt design, they're able to select a t-shirt color. And for activities, you want to make sure to disable interfering activities. For the payment info section, you want to adjust the form based on what the user picks as a payment method. Project 4 is one of my favorite projects we build in the full stack JavaScript tech degree. You'll use object-oriented programming principles to build an interactive browser-based word guessing game. The player tries to guess the phrase by selecting individual letters from the on-screen keyboard. If a player clicks a letter and it's not there, they'll lose one of their heart points. In this unit, you'll really learn how to organize your JavaScript code in a way that's easy to read and uses professional best practices. Project 5 asks you to take your JavaScript skills a step further and use Ajax to create an employee directory by communicating with a third-party API. You use the random user generator API that provides data on random users like photo, name, email, and location. Refreshing the page pings the API again and brings in new data. You'll also write some JavaScript to add modal dialog boxes to focus on one individual and their information. If you're up for the challenge, you can even add navigation buttons to step through each listing. 
Next, you'll use your newly developed knowledge of APIs and the very popular and in-demand React library to create an image gallery app. You'll create an application that dynamically retrieves images from Flickr's API that are tagged with different categories, like cats, dogs, and computers. The search bar allows the user to type in any term that they want. Let's try flowers. When we hit send, a new request is sent to Flickr, which sends back a new collection of images. This app is built in a style of modern single page applications to keep it fast, modular, and in sync with the current web development trends. You'll dive into database work in the next project and create an app that can store, retrieve, and update data. Databases are critical to a web application. They store information about businesses, users, products, and all the data needed to make a website run. You'll use SQL to communicate with the database in order to display a list of books stored in the library database. You can also update or even delete books in a database. In the process, you'll work with roots, create middleware, and spin up a web server. This is a fun and challenging project. The last two projects come together to create a complete full stack JavaScript application with a server side API and a React front end. First, you'll use the popular Express web application framework and SQL database to create a REST API that will provide a way to administer a school database containing information about users and courses. Then you'll build a React front end for the API you just built. Your web application will display a list of courses and details on each course. You will also include a layer of authentication so that only logged in users can add new courses or delete and update a new course. Let me show you how that works. If I try to add a new course, it's going to request that I sign in. So let me sign in. Once I sign in, I'm able to create a course. So you can see here, a new course has popped up. You can see when I'm the owner of the course, we have three buttons, an update button, a delete course button, and a return to list. You can see that these buttons are not visible on courses that I'm not an owner of. I'm going to delete this course. And there you go. You just built your first full stack JavaScript application. I know these projects could look intimidating at first, but don't worry. Here at Treehouse, we'll teach you all you need to know to build everything you've just seen. We also have an amazing Slack community of students and moderators to help and empower you along the way. You will come out of the full stack JavaScript tech degree job ready with your own personal portfolio of all of these amazing projects that you can show off to employers. Start your free trial today at teamtreehouse.com. Can't wait to see you there. Happy coding.